heartbreaking and uh, we're all filled with sadness. Uh, it, it, it's the loss of one of the greatest treasures uh, to the world of, of not only music, but, you know, to everyone around her, and her family, and her mother, Sissy, and, and, and Dion, her aunt Dion. It's just a, a tremendous tragedy for all of us. Young girl who had, you know, this extra special voice. I mean, she, she was what we considered and what I considered the gold standard. And mm really broke all barriers and uh, and really you know set the goal for everyone to achieve and, and Tommy is it right to, is it right to talk about this as a massive shock or were people in the industry fearing the worst after all the stories that we've read about Whitney over the last uh, few years what is the sense do you think amongst people that there was a horrible inevitability to this well, you know, one can never say what happens behind closed doors, and the pressures of this industry, <clears throat> as we all know, and witnessing some of the tragedies over the last couple of years um, with Michael and, and, and Amy Winehouse and some of the great artists of our time, no, one never knows what happens uh, in pe people's personal lives and how the media and all the pressures affect someone. <clears throat> but certainly... Uh, you know, I remember when Whitney was just a late uh, teenager and, and Clive Davis invited me to see her before he had even made records with her and listening to that golden voice. And uh, one day in my office uh, at Sony when someone had brought me I Will Always Love You before it had been released and I put it on and I nearly, nearly fell out of my chair saying that this, uh, by far this could be one of the greatest records of all time. And uh, it, it, it's just a sin, it's a tragedy uh, of such a beautiful treasure to, to be lost like that.